All right, what's up everybody? Check this out. I've done a lot of videos in my life and I've never done one like I'm doing right now. See, we're here in uh, Kingsville, Texas and I'm heading to Baffin Bay. Yesterday, while we were at the Fiesta de Paloma, I met a uh, captain, Captain Sally Black, and she invited us to go fishing. So, we're gonna do a catch, clean, and cook. The only thing is, I have no idea what we're gonna catch, what we're gonna clean, or how we're gonna cook it. So, we just left the RV resort. Now we're heading to Baffin Bay, it's about 30 miles away. We're gonna eat dinner with them tonight and make a game plan for tomorrow. Hope you guys are enjoying all the videos. I love you, and hang on. Well, I can honestly tell you, I did not expect it to be this nice. This is like a full-blown five-star resort. I thought we were going to some like little log cabin. Captain Aubrey. Yo. Dude, I thought we were coming to like some backyard. It sort. is. Video. No, this is like a five-star awesome place. Are you kidding me? Uh, we try to make it as homey as we can possibly make it. We, we drive down this highway in South Texas to a little road that doesn't even really have a name and drive to the dead end of it, and this is what we find. <laughs> Unbelievable. Home sweet home. I, I've never said this on the channel in my life, but this does not suck at all, <laughs> even a little bit. I mean, like, I, I, literally, we do things all the time, you guys, where I have no idea. Ask Sarah, John, or anyone who's ever worked with me or traveled with me. Typically, I never know where I'm going or when I'm gonna get there. I just go, and you, you find cool things along the way. And I feel like we tripped and fell right into a diamond mine. Johnny, you can have any of the bunks you want. That's my bed right there. Actually, all of our, all of our, the mattresses we have here are really top notch. Hey, you guys, here's the deal. This is overwhelming. There's so much information. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> most historic bays in all of the Gulf Coast. This is Baffin Bay, widely known for some of the biggest sea trout anywhere in the continental United true. States. And to be here with Miss Sally is really, really cool. Thanks. I feel the same way about it. Um, you know, we live our life on the run. Never know what we're going to do next. Uh, and pretty to, awesome. Yeah, just to, to get the invite to come out and fish with you is really, really cool. I'm throwing a little topwater plug kind of resembles a, a mullet, finger mullet. Let's see what happens. Captain Sally, I love your boat. Nice. I love that boat too. This is really a nice boat. All right, we're moving, y'all. Next spot coming up. Yeah. This lady right here is amazing. This is Captain Sally Black, y'all. They even have their own hooks. See this? That's their hook that they designed. It's called Black's Black. Magic. I have a feeling a bass would pound that thing. Well, it's, it's revolutionary. It's a 132nd ounce jig head on a number one hook. So it's really small and really light. So any plastic that you throw on it, you can work it a million different ways. You can suspend it. Are you sure it's a million different ways? A million different <laughs> ways. I've seen it. A million different what ways. What a great day, y'all. I absolutely love Texas. Oh my goodness gracious. We need to make a phone call to the Kennedy Ranch. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're out here on Baffin Bay checking out an absolute full-grown whitetail. Okay, are we fishing or what are we doing here? Because I'm totally brain dead now. Alrighty. Now I see why everyone who lives in Texas loves it, because this place is an outdoor paradise. 
Are you kidding me? There we go. There he is. First cast right there. Nice fish. Ho ho! That's what I'm talking about, y'all. So, I'm not kidding you. My first two casts, I, uh, I, I got little backlashes. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I got it right here. Look at that. That's the first speckled trout I have caught in many, many, many years. Look at that. Now, that's what you're looking for. When you catch a fish that you're gonna keep and cook, you want him to go into an ice brine. So then he's, now he's submerged and that salt water will actually bring the temperature of the ice down, lock the fish up, make the meat perfect. All righty. Ooh, nice fish. The red. Woo! Wow, look at how coppery he is. We've caught five trout and a redfish so far. No, four trout and redfish. He's Sling him right in. Here, right here. Oh, right here. look Get out. The boat. Hey, look out. Another trout can come on, and eat on. that. In the boat. Ate <laughs> it at the boat, y'all. Ate it at the boat. Look at this. That was so exciting. These fish are swallowing, swallowing the bait. Unbelievable. <laughs> look at the spots on that thing. Yeah, here comes some sunshine, too. And he's just short. He's almost. And off he goes, y'all. Nice job. What a great day. Mm. There he is. We got him. Yes, Hi. yes, yes. All right. I told you that I have to get that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Life is good. Got to going to have to bust out the gulf for everybody now. My mouth is watering thinking we might have a keeper redfish. Slot red. All right, I'm ready for the net. Wow, he's also super coppery. Wow. Yeah, really pretty. Wow. On on these fish right here, right behind that little pectoral fin right, right there, there's a little soft spot, and there's also a main that main artery that goes from their gills. Right. And it's just a soft spot right there, and you just run your finger in there. Kind of move it around a little bit and it'll bleed real good. He's gonna bleed out in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that'll remove a lot of that uh, that red bloodline that's in there. I never knew you could do that. Tricks of the trade, folks. We're fishing with the blacks. We're filling the box. Yep, see, being up higher makes all the difference. Oh man, I like it. I like it like that. Yeah. Ouch. Oh, ouch. He's I not what I'd call, I get right here. He's not what I'd call <laughs> an absolute giant, but he's the first redfish I've caught in many, many years. Wow. Beautiful, single dot, gorgeous fish. Pammy. Sling him on in here. Yeah. He's part of our family now. Yeah, nice Thank trout, y'all. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Uh oh. All right, y'all, so here's the scoop. Last night, we're sitting in the lobby and, and I see this giant bowl of, of chilies, hot peppers. So I tell John, name your price. 
but you gotta eat one on tape. We're gonna eat it. Ready? Did I chew it enough? <laughs> yeah, I chewed it enough. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping that I was hoping that was like was hot. <laughs> I was hoping that was like a freaking scorpion ghost dinosaur ninja pepper, but it wasn't. <laughs> so what kind of boat is this again? This is a 23 foot Haney cat. She can get this boat on a plane in no water. True. So show me how you do it. Here we go. Literally. But in Texas, that's how you roll. All right, you guys, so we just, I just cleaned that fish real quick. Obviously, you've seen me clean a million fish, no big deal. But this right here, <laughs> this is Aubrey Black. How often do you get to see a legend clean a fish? Oh, crap. Never. <laughs> and he's using my Silver Stag Woods and Water because he nice. said it looked pretty. So I'll just make my first cut down like that. And then we'll just cut through the ribs. Uh, knife nice and sharp. I like it. You know what they call a knife that's not sharp? A stick. <laughs> <laughs> and that's basically it. Perfect. That's it. You have a nice little fillet. You still, all the ribs and everything are still in here. And what you'll do when you go to cook this is this end down here is thin, is thinner. This little area right here is thicker. So you will score this right in here like that. And then you'll score it back this way. Well, unless you're going to kick us out of here in the next 15 or 20 minutes, we're going to be cooking this rascal. Okay. Well, let's score it. The... Yeah. When do you take the skin off? You don't until after it's cooked. Are you kidding? I have never heard ever in my life of cooking a fish. And look, for those of you who've never caught a redfish, they look soft, but they're actually very, like, sturdy. It's almost like armor plating on there. Hear that? Very, very tough scales. Yep. Good, good, good. Now I'll show you one other little thing, one other little trick. We call them saltwater quail. Some people just call it the throats. You just cut right in here like so. On each side. And you'll put that on the grill too. I like to cut them in half. Just put them like that. Call it saltwater quail. So typically, I always fillet my fish, knock the sides off, knock the skin, knock, knock the skin off. But with this beautiful red fish, he left the skin on. Totally cool. And then we get a couple of bonus quail nuggets. Speckled sea trout. What do y'all call them around here? Specs. Specs? Just plain old trout. Their bones are pretty fragile. Yeah. A really sharp knife to go around through the bones. Look at that. Look at that. You know how long it's been since I filleted a fish like that? Forever. <laughs> Alright you guys, so guess what? I don't have the light on the camera and we're trying to work, but John's out taking a shower right now. This is Chef Adam. He is amazing. He made this breakfast this morning that was so insane. So I'm like, dude, you're cooking tonight and I'm filming. So I just gave him some Everglades. He's like, this stuff is legit. So what are you doing? So what we're going to do is we're going to add, we got a little bit of softened butter and we're going to add a little bit of this Everglades seasoning. So once we get the seasoning all worked into the softened butter, then we're gonna transfer it over to uh, uh, just like a baking sheet, uh, pan liner. So that 
That is seasoned seasoning. butter. Exactly. And we're just gonna throw it in the freezer, let it get hard, and then once it's hard, then we're gonna make small cookies, and that's where we're gonna lay it on top of our um, our redfish on the half shell. This is Megan DeLeon. She helps me out here. She's my assistant, my sous chef. She helps me out with everything I need. All right, so this is that butter that we did yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah. Butter with the, with the Everglades seasoning, which I think you've converted me to. Do you really like it? Don't I really, really do. Really do. Honestly, I do. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut little flavor cookies. So now. And this is the redfish on a half shell. Mm -hmm. And your sauce over here is starting to come to a boil. Yo, most people that cook, you know, they focus on one thing. He's like the ninja multitasker. It's incredible. Redfish on the half shell. I've never had it. Okay, so the nice hot grill. The scales are going to protect it. Shut it. Let it roll for a second. Look at that, y'all. I is. gotta say, I've never seen this done before. <laughs> Chef Andy is putting the final touches on this magic. Look at that. And that's all that remnants, the jus that was on the bottom. Crab meat, butter, cilantro. I have no words, y'all. This is incredible. Something in the background, so that. Look at that. Was that an amaretto? Are those falling apart or what? Wow. So I've got to try the local treat first. The redfish on the half shell with the lump crab, cilantro, and clarified butter. What am I gonna say? There, there aren't adequate words. I cook all the time on my channel, and I get thousands of comments of people telling me, oh, you should go on MasterChef, or you should go on the cooking channel. Wrong. That brother right there should go on MasterChef, or the cooking channel. I ain't got nothing on that. All you guys, I thank you so much for being a part of this. The food's in over the top, incredible. This lodge is amazing, and I cannot wait to bring my beautiful wife, Sarah, I love you, baby, and Aria and Emma here. This place, you have not seen the last of it. I can guarantee you that. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're so blessed. We love you, and we're gone. <laughs>